welcome back to my channel welcome to another weekly vlog i just got home from dinner with my friend i didn't bring my camera honestly i've been forgetting to pick up my camera and bring you guys along so earlier this week i ended up outside with a friend it was a lot of fun but i kind of should not have went out guys like it was fun but i really i'm gonna try to cut back on drinking i'm gonna try not to drink until my birthday which is in may because that was just excessive um but we had went to camp and then we ended up at atomic bottle um so that was that um and then what else did i do i've been going to the gym um i don't have any clips of that i don't think um but yeah i've been back in the gym so that's been pretty cool um been trying to eat a little bit better like not eat as many carbs so i've been working on that uh this week and then tonight i went out with my friend sheena we went to this new place it was my first time there it's called kiss houston and honestly i love it i love the vibes the food was amazing i really want to go back um soon um it's so cute if y'all are in houston and you're looking for a fun new spot to try i'm not sure if it's new or not but it's new to me um check out kiss shout out to you guys who have watched my recent video i filmed to get ready with me the response on that video has been really positive and i'm really glad you guys liked it and resonated with what i was talking about honestly i could talk about self-love self-worth for days for days like that never gets old to me because it's like a constant thing so um thank you guys so much for um checking that video out it is actually pretty late right now oh i got my nails done that's another thing i got my nails done and i love them so much i got a new color this time i got like a light pink so i got it on my hands Ooh. i got it on i'm sorry guys i did not mean to flash y'all but i got it on my hands and i also got it on my toes um so that was that and yeah that's pretty much in some what i've been up to this week like i said i'll insert clips so you guys can kind of see but i've just been chilling this week y'all um i've been waking up really like earlier um and that has made such a big difference in my mood and just in my overall energy um it's definitely made a positive difference you know waking up a little bit earlier than i usually do and giving myself time to like create a morning routine because before i was just jumping up and like rushing to work getting stuck in traffic and starting your day like that sets a negative vibe um you know feeling anxious and rushed um so recently i've been waking up like i'd be praying like on the way to work and traffic it was just a mess um so i've been trying to wake up a little bit earlier make my coffee pray write out my intentions um this morning i even had some extra time to like look at emails i try not to do that i try to just focus on like you know not like disconnecting from being on my phone um but yeah y'all it's like yeah y'all <laughs> it's just been good like seeing my affirmations and stuff and just having that extra time in the morning for myself has changed my overall vibe throughout the day and then coming home and like I said I started back getting into the gym this week but I've been feeling good with that um so yeah guys that's pretty much all I've been doing um I may have another date this weekend so we shall see about that i will definitely take you guys along um and what else and then i may be hanging out with my friend um jenny who you guys have met um she had ended up moving back home like where she's from but she's coming down to visit with a few of her friends so may catch up with her um this weekend friday actually so i'm excited about that um so we shall see where the weekend is gonna take us hey guys welcome to another day today is saturday um april april 2nd um 
So I had just woken up this morning. I went, um, I chilled for a little bit inside. My headache is, it's better. Like it's still there, but it's not as bad as it was last night. The sleep really helped. Um, but I woke up, chilled on the phone. Um, and then I went and got Starbucks. And now I'm making myself some breakfast. It's like 2.30. <laughs> um, so yeah. I've been watching my carbs. Like I haven't been eating that many carbs throughout this week. And honestly, I already feel a difference. And I'm kind of already seeing a difference in like my bloating. I mean, I am on my period, so I am already bloated. But um, I feel a little different. Um, so day is day. Um, as far as what I'm going to do today, I really need to do laundry. I may show you guys, but it's so embarrassing. I have like three weeks worth of laundry to do. So I don't even want to know how many loads that's about to be. But I really need to do laundry and I need to clean up because I may have a friend coming to visit um, next weekend or this coming weekend. So I really do need to like straighten up in here. Um, but one second, let me flip this bacon. Um, it's turkey bacon, by the way. We don't eat pork or red meat over here. I feel like I always gotta say that. But. Anyways, I'm trying to, um, yeah, like I said, straighten up. I need to wash my hair because I have a date. Y'all, I have a date. Now, I just got off the phone with this guy. And he seems like, you know, a nice guy. Um, but yeah, we have a date. Um, but... Certain things I'm realizing, y'all, this is going to be kind of awkward if any of the guys that I have talked to are watching this, but y'all, I think I've said this before, but I have not had good experiences with guys from Houston. Guys from Houston, I'm like, I don't know, I don't really vibe with them, like there's something a little off and I don't know what it is until just now. I realized the thing I don't really like about Houston guys is they're too chill for me. They're too like laid back and like chill for me. I'm used to that up north New York type of guy. That's my type. I'm used to guys that take charge, take initiative. When it comes to dates, it's like, okay, be ready at this time. We're going here, here, here. Like I'm used to that. And I realized my dad is... From New York and that's the personality of my dad he's very take charge make sure everything's taken care of um, and I realized that's what I look for in a guy because that's what I'm used to with my dad um, so yeah because I was like why do I keep attracting these guys with these like dominant personalities and like take charge initiated type of guys and that's because that's what I'm used to so when I um, Baking cook and quick. But yeah, so whenever I, um, and like my ex, he wasn't from New York. He was from a small town. Like we're both from, um, small towns. Like it's not like he was like that. But he was like very gentle and like he still tried to like take charge and he, he tried. Um, but yeah, I, what I realized like with Houston guys, like they're too chill for me. They're too chill like why are you asking me oh would you rather i mean i get why because it's like you don't know me so you're trying to see what i like but you know pick and choose i don't like having to make choices like when it comes to dates like i want to see what you thought and what you like thought of when you thought of taking me out you know what i mean why are you asking oh would you rather go to the museum or here like why am i having to ask you what day we're gonna go out what time why am i having to be the one to ask and i realized I only have to do that when I'm talking to guys from Houston. Like, they're just too slow, like, too chill for me. Like, I don't want to have to be the one asking, okay, so what time or where are we going? Where are you? Like, I need to know these things. 
But maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the one that just needs to chill and calm down. I don't know. But anyways, drinking my coffee. This bacon is cooking pretty quick. I'm supposed to go out tonight, but I'm like, I have like three people have asked if I wanted to go out this weekend. And I really had high expectations. I was thinking like, I had high expectations. I was like, you know, this weekend I'm gonna be outside because Last weekend, y'all, I stayed in the entire weekend, and I did it on purpose because I really felt like I needed to reset. Um, so I was like, let me stay in. Um, so this weekend, I was really thinking like, okay, I'm going to be out. Like, um, I'm going to go outside this weekend. I'm ready. But then I just, it's like my body just shut down yesterday. And I don't want to push myself. Um part of me also thinks part of me also thinks it's because i've been like going to the gym you have only gone a couple times this week but i've been like eating a little better so i feel like my body is just like all over the place and then on my period and then i had went out on tuesday and i drank way too much so i feel like my body is just telling me you need to stay inside until your birthday we'll see though um That's crazy. It, 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 like outside y'all, it's like, yes, yes. This is wild. Like, am I gonna go? Am I gonna go? I guess we'll find out today. Y'all will see if I end up giving in. Comment down below what you think I should do. I don't know. I know what I should do. I wasn't sure if I was gonna step out tonight, but like I said, outside was calling my name. So here I am outside. We just left Moxie's. This is my first time here at Moxie's. It was pretty cute. Um, now we are about to go to, is it 51? 50, 50, 51? 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 51. <laughs> and see where the night Just got home from a date 
and it went so well. Um, this is with a guy that I met, and y'all, not gonna lie, I wasn't really feeling the date today because, like I said, I haven't really been feeling good. Um, I've just been, I don't know, it's been weird. Like this morning, I woke up feeling really sad and just, I just wasn't in the mood to go on this date, honestly. Um, and I was like, man, I didn't want to cancel because he already got like the tickets to the museum. We ended up going to the Seismic Museum. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but that was really fun, really cool. And then we had went out to eat. Um, but yeah, at first I was like, I'm not sure if I even want to go. Like my moods have just been kind of weird. But um, yeah, I just wasn't really sure um about going but ended up being cool um enjoyed my time it was fun i'll insert clips of the museum i tried to film a couple of clips i was gonna film me getting ready but y'all i i feel bad i just was not in the mood like i'm just i don't know what's going on but i wasn't even in the mood so i was rushing i ended up being 30 minutes late y'all i was so embarrassed um he was running a little bit late too but still, I'm like, I mean, I let him know I was going to be late. I didn't realize how far this place was from me. But um, yeah, <laughs> I was running 30 minutes late and I felt really, really bad. But um, he was really understanding. So it all, it was a good, a good time. But y'all, look what he got me. These are so beautiful. Like I was trying so hard to stay calm when I saw these in his car. I'm like, these can't be for me. But I'm like, that is so sweet. This just made my whole weekend. Like I was just thinking of how I wanted some more fresh flowers to put in my vase. So I'm about to go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna go ahead and throw away my old flowers because they died. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, clean that out and put these in but um I'm so like this just made me so happy and I'm just so like they're so beautiful but y'all and my outfit was so ugly <laughs> my outfit was so ugly today because I just was not feeling it I don't know what got into me I just was in this weird mood and I just threw something on y'all I've been doing laundry today so I literally just tossed something on I didn't put as much thought into my outfit like I normally try to do for a date. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put my flowers up. And then I'm going to try to go to sleep pretty early today. Because I'm going to wake up early tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday. Um, but, yeah, y'all. It went well. Um, but I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Guys, so I just got ready. I'm about to meet my friend Sheena. We're gonna go out for Taco Tuesday. Gonna grab a couple tacos, um, maybe a hookah. But I wanted to show you guys my hair. I tried curling it and honestly, I kind of <laughs> regret it. I don't know, I'm not really used to curling my hair, but I was already halfway through. And I was like, I gotta keep, I gotta keep going. Um, but I'm hoping that my hair doesn't turn crazy because it's pretty humid tonight. Um, but yeah, this is my hair curled. I just curled it with um, the flat iron. So it has lots of volume. I normally try to wait to curl my hair. If I do curl it, I wait until the hair is a little bit more like old. But this is like a fresh flat iron. So it's still kind of like frizzy. I don't know. But we shall see. I need to stop touching it. But um, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and sip out for Taco Tuesday. Um, she knows on her way now. Um, look at my outfit. Pretty simple. I'm wearing this brown bodysuit um, that I got from Zara. And my pants from my boutique. Um, and then I'm going to throw on... A clear pair of heels only because these pants are pretty long and I'm pretty short um, so I'm gonna wear that so they're not dragging and then my bag that I got from Zara and I have my gold little bracelet on decided to do gold accessories today <laughs> Got home. Um, 
I didn't vlog that much um, while I was out, um, but I think I got a couple of clips I'll show you guys. We went to this spot called Crew. Oh, I wish I would have showed you all those little sad looking tacos. Tell me why that was $60 for those tiny little sad pathetic tacos. Y'all, I'm still hungry. Like... I'm like $60 and I had one weak little lemon drop with some cheap tequila and the hookah was pretty good. But like $60 for that? Next Taco Tuesday, we are going to have to do it ourselves because the tacos weren't even that good. But it was still a fun time catching up, good laughs, good talks. Um, but now I'm home. It's 12 um, I have work in the morning and tomorrow I have a really long day. Um, I have meetings like all day, so I have to get there pretty early. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close this vlog out so that I can edit it and have it up for you guys soon. I'm running behind on my posting schedule, um, but I promise we're going to get back on track. Um, I really want to try to post um, two times a week. So, I promise, guys, we're going to get back on track eventually. Um, you know, I was on track for about two or so weeks, posting twice a week. Um, but I hope you all understand. I've just been busy with work and stuff and just personal things. It's been kind of hard to pick up the camera and talk, but it's all good. Um, but, yeah, I love talking, talking to you guys and vlogging, making videos, so... Yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wash my face. I love my lashes. She made them darker today, but y'all, that's a whole other story. I'll get into that later. But I'm going to go ahead and close this vlog out. I feel like I probably got a good amount of footage um, on this week's vlog, but I'm going to pick this up and we're going to keep going. We're going to start um, next week's vlog tomorrow. Um, like I said, we will get back on track. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, um, and subscribe to my channel if you're new to my channel. Um, but I hope you guys are having an amazing week whenever you're watching this. And I will talk to you guys very soon in the next video. Bye, guys.